OK, this is not going to take very long because everything's been said. <laughs> but I just want to give you some facts. Why do I think um, the school food plan should stay? I hope it carries on because it's the first time, and I say this has been said, but it's the first time it's brought all the organisations together um, and we've stayed together. And yes, we haven't agreed on every single item, but we have agreed on most. School food has gone up um, the agenda unbelievably. Within Food for Life, I can tell you that 50% of primary schools have got now got the Food for Life catering mark. So that's a step. It's not the answer, but it's a step. We are talking to many, many schools. I think it's something like 1.7 million meals a day uh, are now served to the catering mark standard. The one thing that hasn't been mentioned um, is small schools. And I believe we can't take our foot off the pedal because of small schools. <clears throat> and last night, this is why I'm carrying this around, very late last night and very early hours of this morning, I decided to open my emails, which I shouldn't do. Um, but there was one there that really just stood out. And it was an email regarding the list of small schools and the small schools that are going to lose their funding. This is the document. I didn't realize it was 254 pages. And I have a printer that only prints on one side. So I stood there going like this put in the paper in the printer and it's frightening and I'm not going to to say who's losing what but I am going to say that one of them one of the areas 195 schools in one area is going to be affected they are going to lose 2,300 pounds per school and we have to do something about that. In total, and please don't quote these figures because as I say it was the early hours of this morning, it looks as though nearly 4,300 schools are going to lose. So I think that all of us staying together is really, really important. David Cameron said that for the life of this parliament, universal infant free school meals would stay. It was a Lib Dem idea. We know what the Conservatives think of the Lib Dems. And that's why, along with everybody else, I believe that LASA um, need to take the lead. They need to invest in evaluation. I'm really pleased of what Peter, Peter said. Because otherwise, we're going to be looking at kitchen redundancies and we're going to be looking at closure of kitchens. I'm going to say it as it is, because that's what I do. I go out there, I talk to the guys on the ground, and this is what they tell me. They are worried. They really are worried. We have all worked so hard. Um, and as I say, this morning I said it's like turning a tank around. I started this now and Food for Life 16 years ago. I don't want to lose 16 years of work that you guys, and more importantly, the workforce, have delivered. We can't. We can't afford to lose that. Our kids can't. We, we can't afford to lose it for the children because, for me, they are the second most important thing. For me, it's the workforce that's the most important. Um, but as I say, the children are. We are the fifth richest nation in the world. And we have got food poverty that I can't understand. The schools that I go to and the children that I see and the stories that I can tell you, we have to do something about this. And it's you guys that can deliver. You can deliver to tell the staff and the staff can then get it out to the children. It is so important. That's all I'm going to say because, as I say, everything's been said. So I just hope that you've got loads of questions. Thanks. Brilliant.